pretty sensitive skin and I don't want to completely destroy her face by constantly packing stuff on and pulling stuff off and packing stuff on. So what we basically did is just some under eye and we did a little bit on bridge of her nose and a little bit underneath her lip just to take care of any kind of redness but give her a nice smooth base for us to be putting the makeup on her. And she has agreed to a colored brow. So that's what we're going to be doing first. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is doing my Urban Decay Electric Paint Pot Palette. And I am going to be doing Urban, which is their dark, dark, dark purple. I'm putting a little bit of this on her, but I am also going to go in with a pencil to just define the shape a little bit on her. I've done like an orchid purple for her brows and I am just going to take a little bit of a cranberry pencil that's a little softer and fill in these areas that were a little bit sparse. Now using my spoolie brush and not the side that has mint powder all over it, I'm going to go in and just blend that in so it looks like her brows are growing out of her pretty face purple. Yeah, because she's a fairy, a beautiful, magical rainbow fairy. Princess. Princess, she's a fairy princess. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. So now using that same color, Urban, I'm gonna put a little bit when she is successfully hydrated. Okay, I'm good. Outer corner. This is a super shiny, but not sparkly color. We're doing the outer third of her eye in a triangle. Now I'm going to be going in with hot pink in the color Savage. And I'm doing the other two thirds of her eye. I'm doing her bright colors first so it has a pop base for when we do her darker colors. A little more convincing, she'll have pink hair for the wedding. So, you know, I just have to keep laying on the color and eventually I'll win. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Now we're going to be using Prestige Total Intensity. It's a sparkly black color named Long Term Relationship. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. Mm. It is. And before I start this, I'm actually going to tape off the area that I want winged. So you line the tape from the outer corner of her eye as close as you can get to the eye up to the outer tail of your eyebrow. So this one actually, go ahead and leave your eye open. I was a little bit off. And then you just stick down the side that's up against your face. This creates a guard so that wherever I brush color, it's not gonna go past that. It's gonna give you a really sharp line. So I'm taking the black color and I'm going outer corner, framing 
the crease of her eye. And this is gonna create definition and give her that really deep, smoky, vampy look. When you're using a color like black and you know that you're trying to get a specific shape, don't go crazy and load your whole brush up. Do it in passes. A little bit, little bit, little bit, so that if you F it up a little bit, you can go back and fix it. A little bit. A little bit. Also remember that if you do F it up, it's not the end of the world because you might F it up and then turn around and be like, holy shit, that's what I want. That's the perfect look for me. That's basically how I ended up with purple hair is I was like, I thought this was blue. No, this is my life. Mm -hmm. Vampy enough or more vampy? Let's do a little more. I'm gonna do a little more? Let's do a little more. Let's scare some people. Let's scare some people, okay. You got it. Is your future husband one of these people? Maybe. Is there a distinct chance that your future husband is one of the people I'm about to terrify? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Please come on us. I'm gonna be using either Hard Candy Fierce Effects Pressed Pigment or unique and devious. I want to see, I haven't used either of these in a while. I just want to check consistency. Oh, I'm tape face. Tape face <laughs> coming to a theater near you or a VHS. Straight to me. Sparkly, a little bit more matte. We're gonna go sparkly. This has a lot of silver in it. Um, you wanna make sure that kind of blends really well, otherwise it looks like you've got glitter stuck to your face. I gotta get a second angle camera in here. Why don't we just put a GoPro on my chest? Do we just mount it like right between the boobs on the yeah, stick? Yeah, just or? get like the stick and just set it in there. Also coming to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> the GoPro boob cam. Fun for the whole family. Adventures in porn. Except little Tommy. He has to go to bed. What is that Avenue Q song? The internet is for porn. What? The internet is for porn. Grab your dick and double click. The internet is for porn. Yep. Except here. This is just makeup porn. That's the best kind of porn if you ask me. Makeup porn. Makeup porn. Okay. I'm gonna blend it and then I'm gonna throw a little bit of highlight in there. And it's a tapping, swirling motion with a super soft, fluffy brush. And that's where the porn part comes in. If you're under 18, you should probably turn this off. <laughs> There's tapping, swirling motions. If you're under 18, school's not out yet. Do some homework. Get an education. End up like us. We're both educated, and this is what we do. Mm -hmm. We both have bachelors. We do. She is a fashion design major, and mine is in behavior modification. It's the best piece of paper <laughs> I've ever gotten. They're there. very expensive pieces of paper. I tried to give mine back to the bank. They wouldn't take it. No, it's funny how that happens. Thanks, Obama. 
<laughs> I promise we're not that kind of channel. We're not trying to trick you into believing our political opinions, which are not we don't the same, have any. by the way. <laughs> I specifically have no political opinion. That's okay. We both work with the public, so we get to know all of your guys' political opinions. We Whether we want to or not. Seriously. We really appreciate that some of you are super, super, super passionate. But the thing we're passionate about is eyeliner and cats. I really like cats. She really likes cats. Just today, she bought a galaxy printed racerback t-shirt with a tiger with a, what was it, a glitter star over its eye. It's, it's magical. Don't forget the panther in a field of daisies. She's got a panther in a field of daisies. It's um, I like cats. Also magical. She does like cats. She likes a lot of cats. She's really into cats. No political opinion whatsoever. Cat for president. Chewy for president. Chewy, come here. You want to be president? Where are you? I don't think he wants to be president. No. He doesn't like strangers. Mm. Okay, let's get her eyeliner on. We'll be right back. So we cleaned up. We took the tape off. Um, I did have her go over and throw some bronzer on her whole face before we put her eyeliner on, just because she was going to look a little washed out. My colors tend to be a little bit lighter, more ivory than her colors do. You're pale. Um, yeah, I'm, um, you're pale. Oh, you're white. Yeah, I am. I am vampiric. So. Uh, and I tan, in a bit. Yeah, I don't do that. But I don't I, tan my face because that will give you wrinkles and you will look like a dried up, shriveled raisin and nobody wants to look at that. Nobody wants to look like a cheap handbag when they're 50. I'm gonna direct her through this part. We did a heavy winged line and then used Urban Decay Waterline in Push, which is their navy, along the bottom lash line. Just like that, boom. That's how she looks at people at her job all day too. She just gets right up in there and she's like, do you wanna buy a phone with my crazy eyes? So what you're gonna do is you are going to outline your lips. Stretchy, stretchy lips to outline. And... Okay. You got this. I look like a hooker. Only for a minute, though. Okay. A minute hooker? You're a minute hooker. But you're the expensive one. The $50 a minute hooker. Like Julia Roberts. Yes. Okay. Now with the lip liner, you're going to fill in the inner corners. I'm going to do this And way. this is going to make your lips look... Here. I'm going to take over the camera. So she's lining the inner corners of her lips. By the way, that's my gorgeous film setup right there. Light, all that fun thing. This is gonna make her lips look bigger because we're leaving the centers of them blank right now for her lipstick to go over the top. It's gonna give her more of a matte finish on the outside and a shinier finish on the inside. Boom. Okay, now using her Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland lipstick in Morena, which is a super dark plum. Very, very nice. Now the only thing I'm gonna do before I let her go is I'm going out a few more things. I'm gonna take, gonna take a touch of illuminating powder and touch just under her brow. I look like Morticia Adams if she was a cheerleader. Whoa, Buffy. Buffy? Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No, I'm more Faith. Mm. Mm -hmm. Face of Faith, hair of Buffy. I think that's a good combination. I like that. Okay, how do we like it? Anything I you like wanna it. change? Okay, mm -mm. what we're gonna do is we are going to attempt for the multitude of time false eyelashes. We, we screw these up a lot. We try really hard. But effort counts. So I'm gonna go grab some and you're gonna get to watch the hilarity ensue. 
<laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to tell you the story of the false lashes. So I've watched many Alexis Paletti videos. Um, I'm also super voting for her when it comes to the Nick's Face Awards. And she says that I'm supposed to put the glue on the lashes like I've used glue before in my life. Am I, how am I not doing this? It's supposed to, oh, oh, oh. oh that's oh. a lot. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of glue. How does it, just spread it around. There we go. Yeah. Oh, dear oh, God. God. <laughs> too much, too much. Too much, Hold on. too much glue. Too much glue. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Well, they're gonna stick. Yeah. Wait, can we use the other lash? Yeah, just can we, it. Can we um, get glue? Why is it black? Because it's supposed to blend in with your eyeliner. Uh, okay. Well, the other lash looks great. Well, it's gonna stay on, right? Okay, so she says that we, and she, she works with some lashes company, so I'm gonna trust her. And she's fabulous in general. That we put the glue on and then we do this. And we get it tacky. And she said it can take a couple of seconds. Now they're lucky. I get her to blow my dice at Foxwoods. Which is where the fake false lash issues started. So she had this hot ass dress. And we were going to an award ceremony for a company that we both worked at together before. And she wanted false lashes. And we didn't watch any tutorials. And we were just like, we got this shit because we're badasses. And we attempted to put false lashes on her, and oh my god, we were not designed for that. So we've tried multiple times in the past to get the false lashes to do the false lash thing, and uh, this is currently our best attempt yet. Like, they look like lashes that are supposed to be on a person. We also didn't know that you were supposed to trim them, so I just shoved, like, giant sized lashes onto her face. And glued my eye shut. Okay, keep that eye shut. Yeah, we glued her eye shut. It was, it was kind of a disaster. And we've attempted this a couple of times a year since then. And uh, it's uh, not gone great. But um, we're gonna get it before her wedding. Oh, I think that's the trick. If you get it to like splooge out onto It's usually on, the trick. If you get it to splooge out onto the side of the bottle, you can like like paint it on. Eureka. Okay. Wavy lashes, wavy lashes. Okay, I don't think they're tacky enough yet. I also don't know if I have enough glue on. So I'm having her keep her eyes shut um, while I do this so that I avoid gluing her eyes shut again. Also because it'll be a surprise if I did glue her eyes shut again when she tries to open them. Tacky, 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 I feel like you should have like a wooden stick that you poke. Like like, like an orange stick from the manicurist? Yeah. I mean, I know that's probably super unsafe, like taking a wooden stick and poking your eye, but I feel like it would work. Don't How forget. the hell do people do these on themselves? Okay, keep them shut. Okay. Now, they look good. This one looks like it's drying. Um, all the videos say that after I get them on her and they're dry, I'm gonna turn her towards you, she can't see you, so. Boom, just like that. We're supposed to curl the natural lashes into the false lashes to blend. So we're gonna try that once, okay. I think we can open. Can you open? Oh, I didn't glue her eyes shut this time. Okay. 
Wait, do I leave my eyes open for this? Leave your yeah. eyes open. What, I don't understand what that is. This is an eyelash curler. What if you hit my eye? I'm not gonna hit your eye. Okay, maybe they're not dry yet. Did it pull it off? Um, no, no, it's still on there. You know, we're not gonna curl the eyelashes into it because I, think, I might stab her in the face. I think they're great just the way I but like to see. we are gonna just use a little mascara to blend her naturals in. Look up. Don't jump away from me. I have stuff in your eye. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Okay, that's, that's badass. Okay, no, maybe I kind of get it now. She looks like she has an Instagram filter on. Fuck yeah, I do. I like it. This is good. This is good. Okay, guys. Miss Kitty and I here are going to be grabbing some beauty shots of all of this. We're going to post them along with the video. All of this. All of this. Just all of it. Thank you so much for coming, Guy. We really appreciate it. Once again, just like always, tell us if you like this. Tell us if you didn't like this. Nicely, nicely tell us if you didn't like this. Tell us if there's something that you want us to do. Tell us if this is something that you don't enjoy. Do you like when I dub over? Currently, the polling says you do not like when I dub over and you prefer that we talk and chat and be silly. And tell us what you think about this look. Thank you so much for stopping by. Doesn't she look fantastic? I'm going to send her home to her husband just like this. So, we have completed Sammy's fabulous false eyelashes and dark makeup and all of this good stuff. And the Snapchat results are in. The gentleman that we are friends, friends with. with and work with us and hang out with us are appreciative. Big fans. Big fans. They are big fans. So we now know that sparkly... Oh, wait, I turned the camera. Hold on, it's not supposed to be like that. There we go. Sparkly pink and black and falsy lash and dark lip and ridiculously messy desk and empty wine glasses. This is apparently... What men like. This is what men like. This is what men want. So, um, while we normally say fuck it to what men want because we are the badass bitches in this house... We're this, okay with this result. This this works, apparently. Maybe she was just meant to be a supervillain. 